known a little bit more throughout Suffolk County. He's been here in the field of education is Dr. Sean McKay. It read like an outstanding, glowing academician personified. And that's who he is. He is a great academician. He works with people. He has enlarged the framework of Suffolk Community College. He has broadened the students' participation in governance. He's been a part of bringing in people from various cultures and academic traditions and backgrounds. He has spread his wings in some areas where some might have doubted that whether that was the kind of person that was suited for the job, only to say later on, he made a great selection. He's a person that has done things in the community, and although his academics is great, and his experience in, in the field of education, particularly higher education, is really profound, he does a lot of things on the side. Almost every event in the county I go to, where there's a salute to young people, minority participation, Hispanic community, wherever it is, you would find him there. You would find him either addressing the group, or receiving an award, or just being a part of the crowd. He says, through education come transformation and economic power. And that's true. They have a class of people left out of the educational mainstream. They mention their gifts they might have and keeps them in the economic bracket lower than maybe they should be in. And it gives, doesn't give them a chance to use all their God-given talents and ability. I want you to know, Dr. McKay, I salute you today. I salute all the work you have done in this community. I select how you have survived the academic rigors of our time, and you're still here graciously smiling. And so everybody that God is still here. Welcome to Mark W. Good morning and welcome. And I must say that um, you know I, I am not deserving because um, you know what God has taught us is that we always must give to our neighbor and treat our neighbor like we treat ourselves. But we are dealing with the same issues, but we are not talking about issues together. We are talking about issues independently. When the Reverend um, spoke earlier and he talked about Dr. Martin Luther King and what he stood for, the mountain is ahead of us. But to get up on that mountain, guess, guess what? We're going to have to help each other up there. The difference is that we're trying to do it by ourselves. It's going to take you longer to even try to get halfway up that mountain hill. That's why we're going to have to work together. For our town supervisors, our elected officials over here, SCPD police officers, all of us, the clergy, the church, we got to work together. And we must. 